Okay, guys, that's enough of the uh, final song. If you want more of that, I'll give you a good link, okay? Probably not in the description. It'll be the first uploader comment, okay? Um, yeah. This is my first video game review I'm putting on YouTube. If you guys actually went to my blog, like I put in so many of my descriptions, visit my blog. World Ashy the Legend I have only got about ten new views. Uh, not really that successful. Uh, if you actually went there, I would review stuff there. I think I might have put out a design review, of not positive, uh, but I'm doing a video one. Might sound a bit different because I'm not reading it directly. Because I has completed it. Because. For a while, my work schedule increased a lot. I didn't get to play it as much. Well, this is Dishonored, obviously. Whatever. Of over 53 awards. Well deserved, I do believe. <clears throat> now that song is called Honor for All, in case you want to download it. I understand if you do, it's pretty awesome. Well, Dishonored's gameplay simply goes through like this. In the beginning, you are the bodyguard for the Empress, returning from a mission. Or are you sent to, to neighboring kingdoms and empires in order to see if they will help yours who's contracted a nasty plague? Well, as it turns out, as game goes on, they won't help you. I mean, you don't really have to do that. It's off screen, but I just want to say, spoiler. Uh, when you return, you're told to play hide and seek with the Empress's daughter. It's optional, but it's fine. It's okay. It's a nice optional side quest. Well, uh, you go after that. You go up to the queen or. A to give her your report and while you're talking to the queen assassins attack and your first battle of the game begins as it turns out an assassin named Donald you'll see him later uh, at first you'll know his name you'll know it later in part two of the uh, in the second half of the uh, single player campaign, he stabs the Empress and retreats to get his payment. By the way, admire the new haircut. It's a Lesnar cut. Um, you are blamed for the murder because simply you're trained in that sort of stuff. And then you're broken out of prison. Afterwards, then you go on a huge quest to clear your name, assassinate the Lord Regent and the High Overseer, the High Regent's mistress, to be interesting, and kidnap a scientist. That's only part one. Well, eventually you could kill the Lord Regent one of two ways. At least that's what it says. See, you get various powers as well, but before I go into details of how you can kill the Lord Regent or end his reign, uh, you get these powers. I for it eludes me what they're called, but their spells given you by the outsider. First one's called Blink. It's teleportation. Takes a minute to get used to it. 
I remember because it took me about five tries to get used to blank. And, um, then you saw your assassinations. Throughout the game, you end up getting crossbow, pistol, sword, and grenades. A different ammo for each weapon. Well, going on, after, now here's how you can kill the Lord Regent. You can either kill him assassination, or you could play his confession saying that he caused the plague. He brought plagued rats to the town and the empire to plague the citizens and gain power and hire assassination of the empress. Well, you can actually do both. It's a power called uh, Ben Time, where you go and you play it, and then you freeze time, run down the steps to where the Lord reaches, and kill him from behind before he's killed or captured, or whatever the populace wants to do with him. In part two, you're betrayed by your friends. Spoiler again. And your first enemy is Dog. You can choose to kill him or not. I went with the Assassin's Brotherhood thing, and I let him live. Deeply wounded, he flees town. Because he has a $50,000 bounty on his head. Your next opponent is in the sewers. You go through there, fight your way through... And eventually you go and you get revenge on them. The ending is epic. You could choose to submit to the Admiral, or you could shoot him with a crossbow and then save the Empress's daughter. I chose the second one. You could also choose to assassinate everyone else that betrayed you. I did as well. Basically, because he insulted your honor further, Pendleton does, and he says, We all know you slept with the Empress. You, we all know you did her ass, because you like noble women. I just cut him when he said that. I was like, you son of a bitch. I, you can also stealth kill Martin, possess a rat, Chase him up after he has a hissy fit over Pendleton. And then, unpossess it behind him, and you're right there for the assassination. Alright, the up points is a lot. I mean, has great story mode. Good controls. I'd say it's a bit short, but okay. You see, this combines Bioshock, Fable... Skyrim, and a whole lot more in one awesome game. Assassin's Creed 2. Supposedly, Diablo's Cry. I don't know what that is because I never played it before. Don't criticize me. But this is one heck of an awesome game. Should have won Game of the Year if it didn't. Because it was good. The only game I can come close to within 2012 range is Halo 4. Because Halo 4 is a pretty good sci-fi shooter. Uh, the down points. As these enemies called tall boys are near invincible. You have to either shoot them with a pistol or a crossbow about 15 times. Or you can drop assassinate them. Which both is very difficult. Mostly with the crossbow and pistol thing. They've killed you already. I give this one a 9.9 .9 out of 10. Simply because it could have used a multiplayer mode. It doesn't have one. Could have used one. Alright. Check me out for more game reviews. Subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at ElliotWL. Like me on Facebook. Will E. And uh... Follow my blog, will-e-legend.blogspot.com. Thank you very much.